Cole free. Up and under. Scoops it in. Humphrey, who has really turned up her game and then follows with the bucket. A terrific start for the Aggies. Kayla Wells with the three. Down Main Street, down the middle of the floor. Today, A&M's taking that away. Johnson was absolutely surrounded by us. Walden finally gets in their second one. Taking just one shot in this game. She loves to go left. And finally, Dungey gets her first basket. Dungey, the Oklahoma transfer, sat out last year, dropped about 35 pounds, and has turned into a, a wonderful offensive player. But is struggling so far in this game with the rest of her teammates. Jada Walton just stopped and stuck her hands in there and took it away. Gauvin getting playing time for Monk, who is still on the bench. Has a couple of bad You are the second leading scorer in the SEC. You've got to be first team. Here she goes. Don't just start to heat up. Wells ran into Monk, who tried to draw the foul. Welcome to him. Johnson. She's having herself a good, good game. job the last month or so of limiting practice time to keep them fresh. But they don't have an answer for Johnson. Oh, well. With the miss, she's got four so far. Mason stops pop. And then to win the defense by Johnson to hit her off at the pass. And the three, the second of the game. For hey, 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 we've had it all year. We haven't had it handed down here yet. We got it now. Let's do this thing. You're talking about, yeah, you hit some adversity, but you handle that. You've made your run. Just keep on at a steady pace doing what you do. Dungy. And with that, Coach Blair has seen enough. The lead is down to eight. Washington trying to get a shot off. Lost the dribble. And the first half comes to a close. Texas A&M got out to a big lead. The Chelsea Dungeon and the rest of the teammates going on a run in the second quarter. Five against South Carolina. Carolina. Last night in the quarters, that's the second most Carolina's given up all year, and the UConn scored more. Walton looked like she had a great opportunity, but Jones was able to clean it up. Chelsea Dungey back-to-back 31-point games for the Razorbacks sitting on eight points. How about Malika Monk? She played 11 minutes and did not score. Now, Arkansas shot 56% against Georgia. There goes Dungy. And then 45% against South Carolina. So the capability is there. Now, is it a matter, is fatigue affecting their shooting so what percentage? Third game in as many days. Wells missed the first time and Got a good look to cut it back in. Kayla Not Wells. close. That was a bad miss. Well. Rick on the back of that board over there, if you go look at it, don't put them on the foul line. So it's a huge part of what we do. Uh, we've got to maybe not screen, not bring as many defenders into the area where we're trying to attack and see if we can get something like that happening. All right, thanks, Coach, for your time. Thanks. Things are not off, though, to a good start. Kayla Wells running the floor, and Mike Neighbors admitting that his team is tired. Well, you, but you, there's Cole Free getting the three and can score at will. Come across that court, she can make a bucket. Jones scores. Man in. As now extended it out to a 15-point lead. Plus seven since the second half, or the uh, fourth quarter. Third quarter started. Cole Free at least is 
scoring in this quarter. Humphrey had some marks for Kayla Wells. Jaw talking. Take that somewhere. <laughs> Just take it away from me. That's okay. Let's take it away. The ball anyway. Mason, there you go. Damon Mason gets yeah, any such thing as a good loss. I mean, certainly would like to be able to, to, to stay in Greensboro, assuming you win the first and second rounds in Charlotte. Mason, same spot, same result. Not over. Mason throws around and hits it. Good little shooter. Walden saw a little bit of daylight. North Cross Baker, challenged by Johnson. What's the move for the five And I believe that Arkansas has another gear. And it has played seven players. Johnson has been one of them. And the best on the floor to do well. With the drive and gets it to go. Johnson leading the way with 18 points. Jones and Wells 14 apiece. Again, picking up the slack with a... 22 and a half points on average with Carter scores. Both Little Rock got her the degree last December. Corbury! Walmart gets it! Here's the Arkansas. I like this. Mason! Got it! Jalen Mason! Makes it a one-point game! And it's designed to get zero, zero. And now... Arkansas takes its first lead. Now it's a month. Front, moved by Washington, then pulled it back to Dungey. Buried it! Chelsea Dungey makes it a four-point lead. Timeout A&M. This season approached itself. Those two came out of their shooting slump. Also, the chemistry with Dungy and Malika Monk has come together. They're looking for each other. Monk called Chelsea Dungy straight bucket. That shows you this team's coming together. Arkansas scored the last 17 points of this game. And it's a perfect 10, the first 10 seed to ever make it to an SEC final. And they do it with their largest comeback of the season. They were down 16, and now they're in the championship game. Believe.